Hello, friends, and welcome to the Conscious Coping Club. I'm Lori Sharp Page, and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist, my um, baggage as a human, and my hunch that learning how to cope is going to be a lot more fun when we do it together. Today's episode is brought to you by the coping skill of realistic expectations. All that and more on this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Now let's talk about a valuable coping skill that can help mitigate frustrations and improve our overall satisfaction with life. The tool I'm talking about is setting realistic expectations. I know, I know, perhaps not the most sexy of coping skills, but a really, really, really important one. The reason being is because one of the most common sources of frustration is the discrepancy that exists between our expectations and the expectations of others or the natural expectations of our environment and cultures. This is why it's crucial to set realistic expectations, whether they are about our goals, relationships, or even day-to-day activities. I'm not saying don't stop dreaming big, don't stop having big goals, don't make yourself small in the name of realistic expectations, because that's not what I'm talking about here. Realistic expectations isn't about taking away the bright things in your life, the things that give you hope and joy. It doesn't mean aiming low. It means that you are compassionate with yourself and others. It's about setting achievable goals based on our circumstances, our relationships, and also an understanding that setbacks are part of life. Realistic expectations are flexible They are reflective of what you know about yourself, your others, and your environment. And we have to really question the types of unrealistic expectations we set for ourselves constantly. Let me give you a few examples. It's an unrealistic expectation that you will be perfect at everything or anything. It is an unrealistic expectation that you can read your partner's mind and vice versa. It is an unrealistic expectation that you should be happy all the time. That is not something that exists for anyone. It is an unrealistic expectation that other people will change because you want them to or because you think that they need to. And finally, it's an unrealistic expectation that things in life will look exactly like you thought they would because they never do. In my own experience, realistic expectations really are a game changer, a simple, non-sexy game changer. I really noticed less frustration and a significant boost in my satisfaction and peace of mind when I took the time to really set expectations for myself and others in a realistic and compassionate way. Just remember, realistic expectations is a skill. I don't expect you to do it perfectly. It takes practice and you can start small and gradually just apply it to different areas of your life, particularly areas where you tell yourself, I never, I can't. I'm always, I won't. Be curious about those sort of statements because often there is an unrealistic expectation tucked in there. Unrealistic expectations are inevitable. So when you find yourself falling back into the pattern of setting them for yourself or others, remember another realistic expectation. We all fall into this trap from time to time and we can become obsessed with what we think should be versus what is. And if you find yourself on that hamster wheel, please be compassionate with yourself and gently escort yourself off. It's a small step, but trust me, it can significantly change how you perceive and interact with the world around you. That's all for this episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Join me in this journey at ConsciousCoping.club, where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with intention, courage, and a sense of discovery. Make sure to like and follow for more great content. And until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope. Mm